very much understand the sacrifice and the situation of staying away from families for long periods of time and especially the sacrifice that the families, the wives and children and mothers and fathers are making in this. This is uh, still an unfortunate situation in the world where every border has to be guarded. Since 1947, when we got this out of… wrested it out of foreign powers and got it into our own hands, I think we were too excited about this idea of freedom and we did not understand what territory means. When I say this, in the running of a nation, usually most nations, unless uh, they were broken up by somebody else, most ancient nations are formed on the basis of geographical features. But we broke up in a hurry and we put lines which are very difficult to guard. And above all, we cut off trade routes which we have been using for thousands of years. We have been trading with Damascus, Jerusalem, Greece, Rome for thousands of years through these routes and we cut that off on the western border and the eastern routes have been on forever. We cut that off on the eastern border and we made a nation. Somewhere we were too excited about the idea of freedom, not really looking at the making of a nation. We were new to freedom and we cut ourselves into pieces without understanding what future problems we will have, which unfortunately both the political entities, our neighbor and us are suffering because we did not understand the making of a nation. To protect a free nation, what it takes, to make a free nation prosper, what it takes, we did not look at it in full depth and dimension. I'm not trying to blame anybody, all I'm saying is we were new and we were in a hurry. In many ways, the troubles of our armed forces are related to this, the kind of terrains we have placed them in without reason, in plain open land sometimes. So as uh, your commander was saying, you are uh, in minus fifteen degrees centigrade and fifty-two degrees cent centigrade in Rajasthan, extreme conditions. Apart from that, staying away from families. This staying away from families in the past, it was not so much of a problem because almost any man who was active either in business or in anything stayed away from families for long periods of time. But today because of cell phone and Facebook and Twitter, <laughs> you're guarding the border with your family right behind you, which is tough <laughs> they've come very close to the border, your family, which is tough. Because when you're doing certain type of jobs, not only soldiering, when you're doing certain type of jobs, your women and children should not be around you. You cannot do that job well. It will bring so much concern and fear that you cannot do the job well. But this is the modern life that uh, they're everywhere. Every five minutes they can call you. There are issues like this, this is the trouble of the modern times, but at the same time, it is also a solace for the families that they can be in touch with you. But I can imagine what will happen to the families and to you. Suppose there is some kind of action, at that time, if you turn on your cell phone and let them hear the gunfire, this is going to be a disaster. Uh, I really don't have a solution for that. But we can teach you something, all the forces, where keeping your calm, keep
keeping your chemical balance in the system, I'm not talking about even mental balance, more fundamental, keeping your chemistry in balance so that you can handle these things is possibility. But for this modern day communications, I would say excessive communication, not just for the soldiers, for everybody <laughs> too much of communication is a bit of an issue, but we have to learn to deal with it. But I feel this is first generation of soldiers having this level of communication. Maybe in another five, ten years they will learn to handle it, because you can't cut it off. <laughs>